Hi. Oppa, it's been so long. How are you? I heard about John. How are Rebecca and the kids doing? I think they are still in shock. Did you hear what happened? Apparently, John had been suffering from depression and no one knew. He just couldn't take it one day. But he was so successful and had the perfect family. Yeah, that's what I thought too. He always seemed so happy. According to U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, Asians are 60% less likely to have received mental health treatment. Suicide is the leading cause of death for Asian Pacific Islanders, ages 15 to 24, in 2019, pre-pandemic. A 2023 LA County survey found that Asian Americans report. Highest rates of loneliness and suicidal thoughts in LA. One in five U.S.-born Asian adults reported thoughts on suicide. Asians and Asian Americans, regardless of age, place of birth, or educational background, still value honor, pride, and collectivism. Sharing one's struggles. Or asking for help is still considered a sign of weakness or shameful to the family. Such things are kept within the family, and often do not seek help. People are worried that if they seek help for anything, it will insinuate that there is something wrong with you. But we all struggle with something. What if we can change the narrative? What if we didn't have to suffer in silence? KFAM's mental health department creates a safe space for our community to share their struggles and seek help. KFAM makes mental health support accessible to our community members through culturally and linguistically specific services. Help us bring healing and create a healthier community. Together by letting our masks down.